I'm Craig Kendall, recording to you live from Washington, D.C. Today, we've got a very special guest for you. Kendall, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. How much does that cost you? Uh, about, you know, relatively cheap. Really? Yeah, it was only, you know, like four trillion dollars, but that's with the inflation that I've got. Okay, so where did you get the money? Oh, taxpayer dollars and the printing press. God bless those things. Really? Yeah, you know, I bar I didn't really have enough money to pay for the whole thing, so I borrowed a little bit of yours, if, if that's okay. I guess. So are you ready for the interview? Yes. Oh, uh, well, before we get going, do you, do you mind if I smoke? No, no. Oh, my God, okay. Give me a minute. Let's see, this, this is my patented million dollar bill. <laughs> Very nice, Mr. President. Oh, well, thank you. Can you, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Sir? Uh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, hold on to this for me. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Now, uh, can I see that back now? Thanks, bud. Okay. So, Mr. President, what are your thoughts on the health care bill? Well, you see, uh, first off, I'm very disappointed that it did, uh, you know, not go, you know, through. And I am also very disappointed in uh, the, the American public for uh, not not wanting to uh, help its fellow man. With all due respect, sir, this bill would have put millions out of their jobs because there are already health care companies out there. Well, you see, uh, we're, we're trying to uh, appeal to the American public out there who, who can't afford health care. You see, we're trying, to, we're trying to make their lives a little bit easier. Well, this leads me to my next point. Where are you going to get the money to fund this operation? Well, you see, uh, taxes. Uh, well, then wouldn't you be adding ever more taxes to the poor people who can't afford health care? Well, you see, uh, hey, um... As president, am I allowed to assassinate people? Um, no sir, this is not China. Dang it, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah we're still working on that aspect of the, uh, the bill. Now we're going to ask some questions sent in by our viewers. Ooh, uh, could you uh, hold off one sec on that? Could I just got to talk to somebody really quick? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, hey, Phil, yeah, they're going to send in some questions that aren't on the teleprompter. What, what do you think I should do? Ooh, Mr. President. Okay, um, so here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to type up, I'm going to watch your interview on TV a as it's happening, and then I'm going to type up what you should say to the question, and uh, email it to your personal teleprompter over there, and then you can just read it and uh, say what it says, and you'll be fine. Oh, hey, Phil, thank you so much. Man, I'd be dead in the water without you. Yeah, Phil's my speechwriter. I mean, I swear to God, I would, uh, I would not have made it this far without him. God bless him. So, Mr. President, what is your take on global warming? Oh, you see, this, well, uh, I, I believe that this is the problem that we must focus all of our attention and all of our resources into. I mean, really, we need to put as much money into it as we can throttle out of the American people. Really get as much money as we can, you know, really get it out of them. Because it will, this this crisis will determine our future quality of life. But sir, don't we need our, that money for our current problems? And <laughs> Junior, we got taxes for those. Okay, so what do you say to the fact that you spent more money in your first term, or in your first year, than any other president has spent in their entire term? Well, you see, uh, I think that it's kind of like Vegas, you know? You gotta spend a little to gain a lot. It's got our size ratio. I'm not sure that's a good attitude to be having towards the presidency. Well, you see, uh, who's the president? You are, Mr. President. That's right. And, being president, I deserve a certain level of respect for my authority and my decision. And my ratio. Yes, sir. So, what are your thoughts on the Afghan war? Oh, well, you see, uh, I feel that if we treat the terrorists out there, you know, the ones that are trying to kill us, with a, with a certain level of, you know, respect 
church and civil they will put aside we, we can all put aside our differences and you know they'll stop bombing us and people won't die and it'll all be good sir i don't think that will work uh well you see uh why because it's never worked before well you see uh what do you mean for example sir if you treat them like that they'll just take advantage of your hospitality Oh, come on. Nobody's that bad. Sir, they're terrorists. They kill people spontaneously. Come on. People change. You know what? People change. Give them a chance, and I promise you, they will change. They've been trying to kill Americans for the past ten years. I don't call that change. And you know what? That sounds like a good note to end on. What? No, dude, I still have, like, a lo bunch of other questions that I still need to ask, it, ask you. Good night, America. This is Obama, signing off. Dude, this is my show. You can't decide when it ends. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message.